Hello everyone, it's Jonathan here, DJ Puff the Third. Ah, this quarantine or lockdown as it were. It's really yeah, it's hard stuff in it. I've had to spend all my time literally in the communal, in the garden. Can hear birds. Got a gold crest on the left. Gold finch, blackbird. Thought I'd just show you the garden out back that I've been spending all my time on. That's the goldfinch. This corner here is basically a, a wild area. I put a load of spring bulbs in there. There's a common hogweed. Agrimony, or arigimony. And there's a baby honesty coming up. That won't do nothing for two years. Not next year, the year after it will do something. And there's a cow parsley coming up. Crane's bill. Crane's bill. Potted Acesaccharinum. I've grown it from seed, and that's silver leaf maple, Acesaccharinum. Nice. Amber looking fern there and a uh, pelagonium. There's a couple of um, cyclamen in there too. That's a uh, elephant ears or burgina and three brassica plants, hoping the snails don't get them. Uh, we'll go from the main bed. The main bed used to be square and two or three years ago I extended it so it's now rectangle. That further half is the newer part. Some oregano or marjoram there and a uh, hookah behind it. Wild garlic. The starry flowers on the wild garlic. You've got to be careful of them because they do spread and they look nice. I need to pick some of the leaves to nom on. And then there's a uh, rosemary. It's the first rosemary I've planted that's actually survived. There's another hookah here and it's flowering at the moment. An old ginger jar there, the bottom's missing out of it. You can see some geranium on the corner there, that'll be flowering soon. There's another one there. And that's a onopordum, it's the thistle family. That probably won't do anything for a couple of years either. Here comes the cat. Is my fluorine. There's always a cat in the video, isn't there? A hollyhock. Yellow hollyhock. As to whether it'll do anything this year, I don't know. And a sage. This is the... Um, I was very happy with this when it come up. It's uh, honesty. I did put some seed down. Sort of forgot about them. And this year, after three years, it finally turned into a pyramid of purple. You can still see a few flowers left, but it's on the way out now. And you can see them unique seeds, oval seed pods with the seeds in. I was very happy with that. It looked really nice. So that's honesty and like I said there's another one over there in the uh, yeah like I said I'll put snake's head fritillary I've got um, uh, crocuses and I've got all kinds in there big lavender like I said this this end of the bed didn't exist two or three years ago it was just a square and then I extended it funny thing is I went <laughs> I've got this habit of going to Rygate and two or three times I, I took a recycle bin on on my cargo buggy and I literally half filled, almost half filled a recycle bin from molehill dirt from Priory Park Rygate <laughs> and then I brought it back and I dug it into the new bed and the plants have certainly liked it.
There's a yellow snapdragon. That will be flowering soon. And that was plighted last year, so it's come up a second time. There's a water bowl there for the local birds and the cats. There's more oregano or marjoram at the back there. More begonia, elephant ears. There's some mint in there and another pelagonium. And that's the evening primrose. I don't know what's up with this bee. He's been hanging about a bit. And this also was a new bed I created. And you can see that sleeper that I got from near Harrington Road tram stop. And I may go back there to do another video because I, I put some more hiding material down there. And this is all, sadly, the squirrels are doing their best to totally destroy everything. So I've having to put wire all over everything. And they've still had a go in this corner here. You see where there's a gap. But this is radishes. So I've got three different types of radish. And I've got one, two, three broad bean seeds coming up. And I've got a row of carrots just starting to show. See them little green bits? They're the carrots. And this used to be a path, just like that there, which is all spruce shreddings. There's a couple of mystery briony plants there. Not entirely sure what they are. And it was like that. And I basically skimmed all the old two, three year old spruce shreddings off. And you'd never believe the worms that run in there, big grey lob worms. This was earlier in the year. We had a very wet start to the beginning of the year. And basically I turned over the ground underneath. It used to be an L shape around that bed there. And then I just put it all in the wheelbarrow and then spread it all around the composter and into the corner and in front of it. And that's another hookerer and a slightly bigger onopordum. And there's a foxglove in there as well. That's a foxglove. That hookerer will probably flower later. We've got a big fever few in there. And uh, Pityosporum, Australian Pityosporum, to replace one that used to be here some years ago and was basically ripped apart by someone. I've got two skimmias. This one again needs more cut off of it because it's overhanging the path. And another skimmia there. And they've been there for years. I put them in shortly after I came here. I also put in an apple tree that was meant to go in the railway park. So this is a discovery apple. I ended up just putting it in the communal. And I'm hoping that would do well because it would be an intermediate stop for the birds to land in. And a very old R. White's, probably pre-war, lime juice and soda sign. 1D, London, Manchester and Birmingham. I had it in my flat for quite some time and I decided that I can't really have it in the flat anymore. It's taking up too much room. It's not doing nothing. So I hung it from the wall by a nail that was already there. There's the composter, slowly starting to fill that up. This rose here I think is Masquerade. And there's a Wheatcroft rose over there. This was interesting. I made this feature out of old blacking pots that I dug up at the bottle dumps and um, old short sections of pipe that I found in the Penge area. They were doing work next to the old um, canal, reinforcing one side of the Croydon Canal at Betts Park and they uncovered a load of these old pipes. So basically I, I stuffed the old blacking pots into the, the pipes, covered them with, well, I'll put in a bark there later. 
hopefully get some bugs and spiders and maybe a few frogs in the bottom. Mullane on the right, one two mullane, another onopordum and a bronze fennel. And that's a yew tree. So I'm slowly filling in the compost. 